Hey guys, this video is all about how to grow the devil's backbone from cuttings in just plain water. It's a succulent and they are really very very easy to grow from the cuttings. As you can see these are the cuttings and here I am going to show you how easily you can propagate them. My cuttings are a bit longer actually and you don't need a too long cuttings. Just 3 or 4 inches should be just perfect. So I am just going to make them shorter and hopefully I will be able to get more cuttings. I am also removing most of the leaves and mostly I am removing the lower leaves. And this is an important thing to do whenever you want to grow anything from the cuttings. The reason is that, see at this time, the cuttings uh, don't have any kind of roots. So it would be really difficult for them to provide the enough water for the leaves. So it's better to keep only 3 to 4 leaves on the very top. And this is the same thing I am doing. However, please know that there is no any hard and fast rule that you need to keep only 2 to 3 leaves and believe me, I don't follow any hard and fast rule so I don't recommend you to do that so. Next, I am just taking a glass now using a tissue paper on the bottom and you don't have to do this if you don't want to. I am just doing it because of only one reason. See, it's a succulent and definitely I'm not going to fill the glass with more amount of water. I mean higher level of water. And if I do that, they may rot and that's why I am just using a tissue paper so that even though if I forget to water it sometimes, it stays moist and that way the cutting should be uh, able to provide the water to the leaves. And you can do the same thing if you like to. Next, I am adding a little bit amount of water in the glass. Again, I am saying you don't have to add too much water. And let me show you the level of water I am maintaining at this time. That much water would be just perfect. And now just keep the cuttings inside the glass. There are two more important things that you need to do next. The first one is see try to maintain the same water level and if possible change the water at least once in a week however i don't do it i mean mostly i don't do it i just use the filtered water and please do the same thing i mean avoid using the tap water and next important thing is don't keep your pot or container whatever you, you whatever you are using under direct sunlight all right keep it only in a bright area and avoid the direct sunlight and that's it it's really very simple now please keep watching and i am going to show you the result very soon Okay, let's see what's happening inside. The real funny thing is I already know that they have produced the roots. Otherwise, there is no any point of updating the video. So let me show you how nicely they have produced the roots. On the last cutting, I am unable to see the roots like the other one, but it's okay, it's not a big deal. And this thing happened because the cutting is not straight and that's why it was unable to reach the water level. But let me show you closely and you'd be able to see that it has also produced the roots. Now all the cuttings are ready to be transplanted into the soil but you can keep them in water if you like to and enjoy them at your home but i am going to grow them in the soil so guys this is all about how you can easily grow the devil's backbone from the cuttings in just plain water and if you found the video useful please don't forget to like it share it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't thank you very much for taking your valuable time to watch the video i truly appreciate it have a great day and enjoy a lot thank you once again